Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Street Fighter 2 with God of Damn It Don't Want No Man. That's the uh the final episode for Super Street Fighter 2. Cause we're about to play as Bison. AKA Vega, aka Dictator. And I picked the worst fucking color known to man. <laughs> well, it is gay pride, so gay pride month. Alright, so I'm gonna show you something. I could just do this the whole game. And I can win without ever losing. But I'm not gonna do it. Because that's boring. I don't know why, but I tend not to go for... Uh, unless a game is extremely cheesy that I must. And maybe I will. Let me not say I won't. But unless it's like totally unfair, then I'll use exploits that I know of anyway. I don't look up guides, so oh god, the crotch grabber. Going against Zangief first. Get lost, you compare with... You can't compare with my power. My love! You just ended me in the earlier episode. And the last one, I'll teach you. Oh. Uh, let's look at his moves. So he's got the Psycho Crusher, he's got Double Knee Press, and they're both Sonic Boom type moves, but they're not projectile weapons, they're physical attacks. He's got the Head Press... Where he stomps on your head in the air. He's got the somersault skull driver after the head press. You just press punch. And then the devil reverse. Which is the same as head press except with punch. Yeah, and that's going to be uh, gonna be about it. Very hard to uh, control that move. Just cheese the hell out of you over and over. Oh, you hear the music there? That joint went crazy. Ow. Ow. Toss you. Demo reverse. You win. Hope I get to fight Ryu as Bison. Be so apropos. Wow, interrupts the Psycho Crusher. Did you get mad that I men mentioned Ryo Ken? I think he got mad. Bullshit me that whole round. He should have died with that last hit I gave him. Blocks it. Got me on the ropes here, man. He's gonna beat me. Uh -huh. 
I ended up with the Psycho Crusher. I thought he would um, counter it with a Shiryuken, but he didn't. Toss! Look at this guy swinging for the fences. That was a close match. The most hideous car known to man against the most hideous uniform known to man, Warren. Kick the shit out of it. Never show mercy to the car. Punch the car. Almost didn't get that. Wow. Well, I guess you can't cheese with that. I thought you could. Oh, I know why. Because when I used to do that, it was as a kid. And it was in uh, one of the older, and for the Super Nintendo too, I think these are arcade ports that I'm playing right now. So a lot easier, was it? Mm, neutral kick. My bubble gum outfit. Mm. Oh. Look at that. Just pulls it out of nowhere, too. I don't want to do that move. Damn, caught him in the middle of it. Interrupted him. The T. Got it down to a T. No move. Thank you. Punished. Yeah, that was stupid. Punished. Interrupt your move with my own move, and it has flames. Now taste my feet of the dictator prick bag. Hold it. Oh. 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 Got desperate, and he reads the inputs. <laughs> oh, 
He's gonna finish me early here. Oh, read everything now. That's it. Where was my move? Up that. Look at that. Perfect reads. Damn, yo, so. Back when I got the, um. The no loss with Chun, that was a big deal. It was bigger than I even realized. At least I get to get off that horrible color. No, no move that's gonna be good here. He just grabs me out, slide. That's how it be. I gotta stop going for a uh, medium kick though. Suck in my nuts. I hate T Hawk with a fucking passion. Look at this. It's amazing how much he can, like, make me whiff and just hit me perfect with everything. I don't know what to do. I gotta find some kind of move that's like... My specials aren't working. He's interrupting all of them with his own. Interesting that him and Cammy both have the that's this color. So now I'm able to hit him with that kick, but before I wasn't. There's the interruption. Interrupts that, interrupts that. I'm gonna have to just play defensive. That kick's all I'm gonna use. Cause I wanna win. Sorry, T Hawk, you're a cheesy perk. Look at that. Fucking bitch. Yeah, sometimes, you know, these older games, it's cheesing. It's, it's a lot of cheesing involved. The exploits and, and such. Against computers, anyway. And, and even in, like, in regular fights. I'm trying all the stuff here, but... Because I get bored, man. I get bored of doing the same thing and beating people. In any game. It bores the shit... Out of me, yeah. There's a throw. I could have kept going, but I like to finish people with finesse, man. That's what cost me matches. Alright, here I'm just gonna play boring. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna have to, because now he's harder than last round. Damn, try to punish it. Try to punish it again. Wow. 
Na na na. Na na na. Thank you for being an interesting fight, T Hawk. Thank you so much. I used to always think it was cool how uh, Bison's like medium punch and fierce punch had like aura around it because we're not. I used to associate that with like a special shit like that. So I always looked at it like, oh, he got like a, a special regular attack. Oh, even his light. His light punch too. So yeah, I always used to think. I always used to feel like. The uniqueness of the character and the power of, of Bison because of that. I want to see if I could do a Psycho Crush on it. Not nah, yet. Did it with bison. Cool. I'm getting better at it, I think. Yeah, they're all gonna like reverse that with a fucking throw. I guess that too. What the fuck? Use your floating against you. Nice comeback one. Why he's missing him? That should have ended him. See ya. <laughs> Away from you, peasants.
Uh oh, the Chun. She wants revenge for her pops. Uh oh, the throw. Yep. So that coming. Ooh. to do this she just fucking throws me through my punches just being mad aggressive and just working Get out of here. You win. With your sexy thighs on my cloud. Round three, fight. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're gonna keep doing it, I'm just gonna keep head stomping. Oh, we're already to the final four. gonna kill me right here. <laughs> Yo, Balrog might beat my bison. All he has to do is reverse my um, Psycho Crusher, because that's all I really have on him. Bison doesn't have a good low, um, low poke. And that's what I use against Balrog. Wow, is that perfect? Oh shit. Big bonus. Yeah, I like Psycho Crusher against Balrog. Openings got him. I'm the leader for a reason. You're just a common thug, a common henchman. Damn, I want to catch you in midair.
Let's go Vega. I think Psycho Crush will work well against Vega here. If, as long as he stops jumping over it. <laughs> oh. It's gonna be a bad fight. Can I wall jump with Bison? No, I can't. I get out the fucking corner. Just keep jumping over my shit. Too fast for the Bison. Too fast for the dick, Tater. Damn, I tried doing the fucking, uh... Nice, caught his ass. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a bad match. Bad matchup. Ooh, the high kick. The air, the air battles is crazy between these two. <laughs> this dude was twitching. Oh damn! I picked the wrong color. I picked this damn shit again. Yeah, he just took it. Get out of that corner. Damn, try cycle crusher and out. Fall right into my power. You win. Round two, fight. Damn it. Ugh. Ah. This matchup is fucking horrid. Thank you. 
Oh. Damn, that was a lucky fucking one. <laughs> I thought he was gonna counter me, like, counter punish big time there. This I don't know what I'm gonna really do. Yeah, see, cause he can just do that with my slide. Now I gotta combine a uh, fierce kick with medium kick. I gotta remember that. I keep doing medium kick in the air, and that's that's not doing me any favors. Hey, still isn't, uh... Just went for it. out there because I fucked up again with the medium kick in the air. I don't know. I just don't like Bison's play style, man. Get away from me. by me baby sometimes you gotta take chances you just never know fucking unicorn bison coming through with the doppelganger fight been meaning to do this to you so long That was a good uh, competitive match. Gets it right back. Well, it's working. Should keep doing it. Oh, shit. Interrupt you. you win. Round three, fight. You might win this. I knew exactly what he was going to do, that's why I did that. <laughs> that's funny, man. No one is left to interfere with my scheme now. Not even the Ancient One was brave enough to challenge me. The world is mine! Under Bison's rule, the world was wrapped in the darkness of one man's evil. 
and Bison, the King of Chaos. Will anyone ever defeat this evil scumbag? Like Ganon and shit. Flames all over the city. Well, there you go, guys. That's been Super Street Fighter 2. The new challengers, the God of Darren, the one of man. Hope everybody enjoyed this uh, series. Um, I think I'll do one game of uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. See how that goes. Um, definitely going to be doing Alpha Series and Third Strike, even though Third Strike I'm not too familiar with, so that'll be an interesting thing for both of us. Uh, so, yeah. Until then, I'm going to be working on some more Judgment, some more, uh, maybe some more VR stuff. And maybe a couple of surprises down the road, too. Uh, might throw in there beforehand. Before finishing the other stuff. We'll see. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed every character. It was fun for me. I enjoyed it. I love playing every character. Learning what works for certain characters, what doesn't. Uh, the game did frustrate me at points. But that's to be expected with Street Fighter. Come on. Especially Street Fighter 2. But I love it. I love it so much. Love this game. One of the first games I remember ever as a child. My two uncles playing in my grandmother's living room. All I remember is one of them were playing with Guile. I don't remember who the other one was playing as. I think maybe Ken. Um, and it was in Guile's level. And it's funny because that day my... Uh, my net, um, my cousin was born. So shout out to my cousin Jason. Well, I don't know if that day he was born, but that day he was brought home for sure. He was brought home to my grandmother. That's when I met him the first time. I, I remember all this. Don't ask me how. Anyway, I digress. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.